what's up guys today is friday finally friday because today is hang on i know somebody can do this just a little bit better than i can so check this out what's up guys it's snapper friday Got that liquid sunshine pumping today. Yeah, no doubt. <sighs> Ain't nothing like the smell of a snap on truck. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like dirt and mud right now with all this rain we got coming down. Ooh, got another piece of luggage up here. You selling that or is that a giveaway promo? Buy $10,000 tools. I got two. I got the green one and I got the yellow one. The yellow one's still in the shop. Uh, one is for sale and one's going to go with this aluminum racing jack right here. Cool. Aluminum racing Can't beat jack. That. Does that mean the jack's fast or is it for just lifting race cars? It, well, depending on how fast you can pump that bad boy, that's how fast the jack is. <laughs> <laughs> but the FJ175, which is one and three quarter ton jack. Is that, the, is that the same ones as Harbor Freight sales? No, this one ain't. That's what everybody says, ain't <laughs> yeah. it? I was, somebody texted me the other day told me that they heard that uh, Harbor Freight bought out Snap-on and stuff. And I was like, well, you heard something I ain't heard yet, but I doubt they uh, <laughs> buying out Snap-on. Oh, yeah? I did say that Harbor Freight was doing away with the coupons unless you become a, uh, what? The, Inside track member? Yeah. Yeah, I've heard that a bunch of times. Oh, Harbor Freight Jacks is the same as Snap-on Jacks. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Yes, I don't it's care. Like you know what? I don't own stock in either company, so it don't matter to me. <laughs> no doubt. It's, it's whatever uh, whatever makes you happy. I've got a Daytona Jack, and I have zero complaints about it. It's a fantastic Jack. I got an old, old uh, Harbor Freight Jack that my father-in-law gave me one time. It was before the Daytona one, just the... That's was that before you are married or after you was married? This was after. They may have been trying to take me out. That's what I was, I was fixing <laughs> to say. Now, this, may, this may tell the story right yeah. here. Yeah, it was after I was married. maybe may have been trying to take me out or something. But it, I mean, I honestly say that it's been a good one. Yeah. I got that. that I got a, uh, actually I got the Blue Point Racing Jack in my race car trailer that I've had probably for 15, 17 years. I bought it from Greg O'Quinn. Wow. When I, well, been 18 years. I was 18 year old when I bought it from Greg O'Quinn. Hitting the jack stands. I don't know where the jack stands are now. And then I got the, uh, well, they came out with the two, the two ton uh, ones that look like the Daytona jacks. Well, every company has got good tools and they've got bad tools. Yeah. You know, so not all Harbor Freight stuff's bad. Mm -mm. Just like not all Snap On stuff's good. Like, yeah. prime example, those. Stinking vice grips, you know. <laughs> and speaking of vice grips, I've had a bunch of people send me the video where Snap On redone them, and uh, it looks like a vast improvement. Yeah, they, you know, they look good. The for those of y'all that don't know what the Snap On vice grips are, I'll put a picture of them, you know, and that's kind of like the new ones. Um, of course, you can see the little video here that's playing. The new ones look like they'd be a lot better, they look like they're going to be. That's kind of like comparing, you know, back in the olden days, what they would use as a hammer. Be like a rock. Yep. Versus these hammers, which are freaking awesome. A lot easier on your hands compared to having to beat stuff with a rock. Yeah. Cause well, that's even like, well, from that hammer. These are awesome hammers. That's even like from this hammer to that hammer. You're going to start yep. waylaying on something, you'd much rather be using that than you would be a old wooden handle hammer exactly right we'll see the uh vice grips are you well let me ask you this because i know you're like me you was not a fan when's the last time you seen some snap on vice grips on this truck right here <laughs> I, I ask you a that. long time ago it's been uh, over two years, <laughs> two years i guarantee ago, yeah. that but are you going to stock a pair of them 
I'm going to wait and see what they, how they're going to do. I'm not going to lie. I mean, You'll let they, somebody else I'm gonna let taste some, the soup before you get a bowl. Yeah, because, I mean, and I'm not going to lie, when I first came in with Snap-On, it has been five years ago this month. No, April will be five years ago. I uh, sold everything I could with the Snap-On name on it. And I've sold a bunch of the Snap-On Vice Grips. And uh, <laughs> I've took a lot of heartache and ass chewings over Snap on Vice Grips. Therefore, I don't sell Snap on Vice Grips. Number one, I don't have a customer that has any Snap on Vice Grips because I've warranted them out with Irwin's. Irwin's. And I just owned the Snap on ones away yeah. because this lose that little bit of money and get away from <laughs> Save that heartache. The yeah, yeah. So you told him some cussings, huh? Yeah. So what? I mean, I do got some on here. These are Williams. Right. Which Williams is a snap-on company. They look just like the Blue Point. And I've ordered the Blue Points and I got the Williams in. So I don't know how that was happened, but it is what it is. And these have been actually been all right, ones like these. Mm-hmm. Like, it's made me gun-shy. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's hard to beat the original vice grips. Yeah. And, and I'm a little gun-shy of, of other brands now. So... Well, I, I take the last pair of Snap-on Vice Grips I had, and everybody will see this up here. I put them on my, got a rain gutter outside our door. And some reason, when Freightliner built these trucks, or when uh, not, as Morgan Olson built the cabs on these trucks, the bodies, they the rain gutter's like this much short from going all the way over the whole door. So it leaks right inside the door. And everybody asked me, like, what do you, why you got Vice Grips right there? I used to have snap on ones there. And water literally run out the gutter, down the pliers, and past the door and hit the ground. Not falling inside my truck anymore. The dang snap on ones fell off and I run over and get a hole in the tire. It cost me four hundred dollars <laughs> on the side of the road. <laughs> plus so, a set of pliers. Plus a set of pliers. <laughs> <laughs> so now I got some vice grip ones up here and they've been there for a long time now. They don't change colors but I'll bet you couldn't even get, you'd have to cut them off of the torch and I'll get them off a bit. Well, I got a buddy of mine, I was telling Hamilton this story at lunch, and he's a pretty comical dude, like, he's, he's a really good guy, but he does a lot of welding work, and, uh, you know, he <laughs> sent me a little video, and until I can get his permission, I'm not going to show the video, but I, I, I want to tell you about it at least. He said, man, I don't know why you got problems with these snap-on vice grips, so he shows a picture of them, and he clamps them on a welding table like this, click. Yeah, just be like, and then just locked in like some regular pliers. Yeah, like it, he shows that, <laughs> and then he turns the camera away. Well, when he turned the camera away, he ended up cutting the little part out, and then he shows him taking a hammer, and he's beating on the front of the pliers, beating on the back of the pliers and all that, and he said, these things lock on great. I don't know why you're always fussing about these snap-on vice grips. <laughs> and then he takes his phone and gets down there close, he welded them, Onto Dude, the welding like, table. He said, that's the only way I can figure out how to make them hold. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was pretty funny. The older ones, that would have to be the only way. I, get, I mean, or you you cramp, that, cramp down on it and the teeth, like, just flatten out on you. I don't yeah. know what the problem was with them. But. I don't know. They had some issues. But I'm proud to see that Snap-on fixed it. They look good. Like, they finally listened, I guess, to the public and, and like, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe our vice grips ain't the best, you know. <laughs> But now the new ones do look really good. Yeah, the teeth look good on them. The I like the knob that they put on the back of them. I really like that. It has it got the Allen head part yeah, in on it too. Put an Allen Allen head in there and Bell tighten, tighten it, it up a little bit, get a little extra pressure on it. So let me ask you. I'm assuming they got a new light. No, because it's been like a week since we've seen <laughs> one. <laughs> this one is actually is not a new light. These are the older one of the older ones. Uh, these are old, don't even have the model number on them. They used to have these in all different colors. Red, green, yeah. or they had them in red, green, and orange. Of course, green was the, everybody wanted Top green. Dog. Yeah. Yeah. And you could get blue, because these are blue point light. Uh, I think they had yellow on them for a little while before they did away with all the colors, and they came out with the ones that flip out. And he got one of my, I think I saw my last one earlier in the week. These, there's one problem with them. 
that's just a damn rare earth magnet in the bottom of it. So strong it pulls so strong, it out. It pulls through the cap. Yep. And I've warranted out there there's warranted actually. This bottom piece. I warranted out 70, 80, 100 of them. Because <laughs> people put on, of course, it's on the rubber mat, yeah. but they want to grab them and pull them straight off. That's the worst thing to do. You got to rock them you to gotta the side. Now, if you just do this, they break yep. loose them, no problem. And, uh, yeah, just like right here, and pull straight off. I was expecting it to come off. Oh, you... It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> but you can see where the magnet is. Right well, I'm going to tell you, they ain't too rare. I know they keep calling them rare earth magnets, yeah. but Snap on <laughs> sold 10 million of them magnets. They, they found the hole where the rare earth magnets are. <laughs> yeah, they ain't too rare because Snap on has really, and I have to say, the magnets that's in those battery magnets that Snap on has. Oh, yeah. The twist on ones? Dude, them right there ain't no jokes on Well, and there's a. Uh, like, the, if you had a metal cap in your mouth, you could pull somebody's teeth out with them things. These are here the same way. Oh, <laughs> them suckers right there now. Like they'll pull off the light if you don't grab the edges of it yeah. to pull them off. Because that's still one of my favorite lights to use is that fluorescent tube. Type. Now they eat them batteries up. Yeah. They leak batteries like a fat boy leak cake. But. Yeah, these right here, this was, when I started, this was the most popular light that we had. Yeah. And these, I mean, they're bad. It's bright. Things last a long time. And uh, two hooks to hang them on. But. There's a smaller LED, and they are kind of big and bulky for the size. And snap on, swapped over to the ones that flip out. Here's the box for that one. They swapped to ones that flip out, and them things have been great, been amazing. Yeah. Uh, and so, hundreds of them lights. But I've ordered I ordered a couple of these probably about two or three months ago, and I got three or four in the other day. Now I got, I think that's the one that's in this box actually. Yeah, that's my last one of them left. Dang, hot seller then. Yeah, everybody wants lights. So. We still ain't heard nothing on the the new 861s. I haven't yet. I don't think it's in my computer. They must be holding out on that for be like a grand finale. Like the hundredth year is already over now. They might as well go and come out. <laughs> <laughs> And the bottom box to that little micro box, you know? Yeah. Are they not going to do a, the bottom box to match the little 100th anniversary top box? I don't know. On the bottom one, I'm not sure. I'd have to, I haven't never looked them up on them to see. Like you, know. you would think they would come out with the bottom one to yeah. match the top one. I got a uh, 100th anniversary top box in the other day. You know, like Monday was the first day the UPS ran in over a week because we're down the ice and snow that we had and everything well, i got like five boxes in two of them was this size box and but the other two was a little bit bigger and um i got one of the 100th anniversary top boxes in it yeah i didn't even order half the stuff in that little thing i didn't order of course i didn't get half the stuff i did order right and um i need to put it on here and sell it to somebody mm -hmm. it's cool like i'm i hope they come out with the bottom because yeah i mean it's sharp dude they look good i got I have to look it up a new little room I ain't sure what the port number is. I'd have to wait till I get to the house and look it up. I'm sure, I can find it off of the top box number. Yeah. If they got one. And they may not even make, and they may not have any intentions of making one. I don't know. Well, but I know that they got the bottom were... boxes to the micro boxes, but I'm not sure if they got it on the 100th anniversary mm. one or not. I'd like to have one because they things look cool. Yeah, they are pretty neat. And they they got a lot more room in them. You think they would too? Yeah, they said all gone little, you know. It, Everything on it functions like a big box yep. does. I mean, all the drawers open up. They're cool. pretty neat. What? Had a uh, customer that wanted one. Uh, he bought it for his wife for Christmas. He wanted the pink one. Uh, of course, we ordered it, and I showed him. Of course, with COVID, everything that we order comes out of our warehouse. We don't. They don't cross ship from warehouse to warehouse right now with COVID. Uh, and we went on my computer through snapon.com because it wasn't none of my out of our warehouse and he ordered it paid for it right there off with his credit card and of course they send it to him from a different warehouse mm -hmm. no problem at all but he got his top and bottom box in that was pink um, but that's pretty neat bell see pink ones though oh i forgot let me run in here and grab some stuff i gotta get it warranted i all forgot right. i forgot about this in there when we was in there earlier
Y'all see how he took that? Didn't ask, what'd you do to it? Or I ain't worried about it. Did you beat it with a hammer? <laughs> or like sometimes things just break. Sometimes you don't need to ask what happens. Sometimes they just break. Without having to open my brand new set. So on that extension, what happened to it? It's not done. I'm not sure. It's a uh, the extractor extension, looks like now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an extractor extension now. Well, there's two new ones. Socket. You can see the socket was kind of like a pair of breeches. It just couldn't withstand the pressure. <laughs> and that's what happened to that extension. Yeah, never. Uh, it amazes me about how some of the dealers get upset when it comes to warranty and stuff. And there's a lot of them to do. I ain't never had you uh, get bent out of shape with none of them. <laughs> I mean, that's what, uh, yeah. We got some, well, of course some of the older, older dealers is out. That's usually where the problem was at. But uh, there's still some dealers around now that don't like warranty and stuff for people. I don't know why, because it don't cost them any money in the long run. Well, I heard our gear wrench guy is not going to be a gear wrench guy anymore. You heard that? Yeah. I heard that, uh, what was that, what do you make it, two years maybe? K Tool, I think, is what it's going to be now. Yeah, I heard they yanked the franchise away from him. I don't know what happened. I usually get most of my gear wrench online or at the Napa or Tractor Supply when I need it. I, I about to say it's gonna be hard to beat tractor supply on gear wrench prices. Napa does really good too on yeah. them. I mean, if you watch Napa, that real deals catalog they got, yeah, you can save some money on some tools. I know I went through Napa on a few things, getting stuff in before that uh, may not be able to get through other companies. Yeah, and they, uh, of course, the Napa. Here is pretty good. The owner is. He's mm -hmm. a good dude. So, all of them ain't the same way. I guess all, but all tow dealers ain't gonna be the same way. <laughs> That's either, true. They definitely ain't the same way. Cause yeah. uh, you remember how bad of a deal we had back in the day with Matco. You bringing that up is funny. Cause I had a guy this morning. That works here in Bainville. He was a. Uh, he asked me about that today. He said he was watching some of the older videos. He said he loves watching all your videos, and that uh, he was watching some of the ones from like two and three years ago before mm -hmm. Matt Michael took over. Yeah. When it was uh, Virgil Dodds would saying like, "Hey, I'll be out there tomorrow." Mm -hmm. and, well, I'll be out there Friday. I'll, it'll be next week. And you he know, said, he just and what's bad hilarious. about that, and and I tell everybody, I'd say, look, if he would have been straight up and been like, look, I'm not going to be a Matco dealer anymore. If he'd have just told me that, I wouldn't have got pissed off. Like, we'd have just sent it into Matco, and that'd have been the end of it. Yeah. But the kind of the way it was left was, uh, I think he knew his uh, road was coming to an end. For doing shady stuff, and it should have had the way the stuff that he'd done. But oh well. Yeah, that. That didn't work out good. But we don't have to worry about it no more. So. 
No, we got but Michael. But just think, he could have been on a video every week too if he'd have just done right. <laughs> if. He'd have been famous like you. I don't know about couldn't, all that. Couldn't even go out and eat without people coming up to him wanting an autograph. <laughs> Get your picture taken at the <laughs> gas station and all this yep. stuff. Hamilton's worldwide famous, buddy. He can't even buy a biscuit at the Texaco without somebody wanting to take a picture with him. <laughs> I don't know about all that now. <laughs> Girls is coming up there saying, will you sign this for me? That might have been for other reasons in the past. <laughs> <laughs> Look out now. All in right. trouble. Well, guys, I guess y'all seen how fast Hamilton rebuilt that little ratchet. Like pit stop for ratchets. But uh, I guess we're going to turn this off and let Hamilton get back to work. I'm going to pay my bill and get back to work myself. But like always, y'all might see him on the hub. I think that's what he was referring to. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to stop right there. Thank you all for watching. Like always, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes. And if you're not subscribed, what do I got to do, Hamilton? Click that button. It's Just free. Click that button. It's right there. Just Don't cost it. nothing. Show them how to press it. Yep. Click. <laughs> See y'all. <laughs>